Yo, what's going on gamers? It's Ryan 6 days a week, and in this video, we're going to go over how to dodge all of the new enemies in the ice caverns as the latest content patch. You'll likely see an update to this video down the line as Iron Mace adds more and more monsters to the map. In this guide, we will cover just the monsters with new mechanics. So, the Frost Skeleton Archer, Frost Skeleton Footman and Guardsman, the Basic Kobolds, the Frost Walker, the Frost Giant Berserker, the Frost Giant Shielder, and the Wendigo. Let's start with the Frost Skeleton Archer. From a distance, all you need to do is side strafe to kite the arrows. Quite basic. However, when approached, the Frost Skeleton Archer will activate a melee shove. To counter this, either bait the attack out just beyond melee distance, or walk up to the archer directly, crouch, and look straight down. The shove will pass right above you. However, due to the shape of the bow, this will only work if you are centered and completely still. So just use this method in an isolated fight, as it could be dangerous. Next, the Frost Skeleton Footman. This unit has two moves, a forward stab and a diagonal slash. If you have enough move speed, you'll be able to dodge both attacks by moving closely to the right. Just be sure to move a little bit past the skeleton, as there's some decent tracking to both these attacks. If you are slowed down by wearing plate, or by the blizzard in general, the forward stab may be more easily dodged by kiting backwards. Just be sure that you have enough room to move around. Next, we have the Frost Skeleton Guardsman, which is essentially the same as the Skeleton Footman but without the slash attack. Instead, it has a charged lunge stab. This move is actually much easier to dodge by sidestepping closely since it doesn't really have much tracking. Another unique feature is that when this skeleton blocks an attack, it will immediately return a shield bash. But if that triggers, just move a little bit backwards and you'll evade it. Next we have the kobolds. All you need to know with these units is that they are essentially the same as the goblins. So just keep moving and only attack after you've baited out one of theirs. When they drop down to critical health, they will signal any nearby kobolds to attack you. So, you may have to fight many, but they're pretty easy to deal with as long as you don't let yourself get trapped or cornered. Up next is the Frost Walker, which has the same melee moveset as a zombie. The only difference here is that instead of releasing a poison cloud, if this zombie drops a low HP, it will release an icy mist, which will give you stacks of frostbite if you're too close. So to deal with this one, just use basic kiting and don't get too close. Next, we have our first sub-boss, the Frost Giant Berserker. This unit has two downward chops, one from the left hand and one from the right. Both of these vertical chops can be dodged by strafing either to the right or to the left. It also has two horizontal swings, one counterclockwise and one clockwise. For the clockwise swing, you have to crouch and look down to dodge. For some reason, I was unable to dodge the counterclockwise swing reliably with just this method, so instead I found that moving past the attack on the left, then crouching, worked a bit better. The Berserker also has a fifth attack, which is actually a combo starter, and it's a running diagonal swing. This combo move will either lead into a vertical chop or horizontal swing to complete a two-step combo. Now. This all may sound complex at the surface level, but it's much more simple than it seems. If you have the move speed for it, that is. All you need to do is crouch and circle to the left of the Berserker unless it begins its clockwise horizontal swing. In that case, just stop moving, but continue to crouch and look down. One last thing that you'll need to look out for is if the Berserker begins its running combo. In this case, you'll still start by moving to the left of the Berserker to dodge that initial diagonal swing but then immediately after its swing, crouch, look down, and circle to the right. This will dodge whatever follows it. If you happen to be slower moving, so wearing plate or carrying a heavy two-handed weapon, the crouch and move left strat will not always work on the counterclockwise swing. Sometimes you'll have to run closely to the left of the berserker and then immediately crouch and duck down as the swing completes. I suggest you first practice this in normals as the berserker will be slower and deal less damage. Alright, next we have the Frost Giant Shielder, which is much, much more simple. To defeat this sub-boss, all you have to do is move to whichever side is the opposite that it is swinging from. So, if the swing begins on the right, move to its left. If the swing begins on the left, move to its right. These are the only moves it has for now, and they can both be reliably evaded like that. 
The swings are actually slow enough that you should be able to attack the entire time while you're dodging. Super simple. Finally, we have the Wendigo, which is also pretty simple. Basically, treat this as a Demon Berserker with a wider swing and an occasional charge. To dodge this charge, just move to the side. Left or right works. To dodge the swings, crouch, look straight up or down, then move to the side that the swing starts on. Be sure you're close, too. Hugging the Wendigo makes it a lot easier, trust me. It seems to just have a two-part combo, too, so that always begins on the left. So just move left, then move right. Then attack. Repeat that till it's dead. Now, if you watch through this entire thing and are still having a really rough time, you can always jump up on any kind of elevated surface and take down the mob easily like that. This is also a great way to get a feel of the movesets and the timings of the swing. There are tons of crates, ramps, and ledges found throughout the map that these monsters get stuck on, but do be warned, Iron Mace did say that they're going to get rid of all the cheese eventually, so don't rely too heavily on these spots. Alright gamers, if any questions at all, please ask me down in the comments below or find me live on Twitch Tuesdays or Thursdays. If you really need a quick response, you can always pop in the Discord too, and I'm sure someone in there will be more than willing to help. Best of luck in the ice caverns, and I'll see you in the next video.